Hello guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to make this portal using the shader graph in Unity. So first make sure you are using the URP or the HDRP settings in your project. If you notice there's a lot of videos in YouTube that are talking about how to do a portal, how to make this portal and how to do that using the shader graph and the VFX graph. But all of them are performance heavy so the computer needs a lot of performance so they can show them. But this one is meant for mobile. It's not performance heavy, it's looking so good and it's easy to do. So check this video with me till the end so we can finish it together. Before starting make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps me out to put more content for you guys. And subscribe to my channel if you are interested to see more content like this. So let's just get started. As everyone knows creating shaders and visual effects require you to have the universal render pipeline or the high definition render pipeline settings in your scene. So the first thing you are gonna do, need to do is go to the edit, project settings, graphics and under descriptive render pipeline check if you are using the URP assets or HDRP assets. If you are not, I'm gonna leave you two videos in the description bar. The first one is talking about the difference between the URP and HDRP and the second one is talking about how to change the settings of your of your project to the URP or HDRP. And after doing that, go back to this video and let's do our shader. So let's take a look now at our scene. In our scene, I have this portal which I created with Blender, it's just a model. And we are gonna do a portal effect inside of it. So to create our shader, we are gonna come here assets, create shader, a blank shader graph. We are gonna call it for example, portal. We are gonna open the shader editor just like this so first thing we need to set the settings of our shader we are gonna come here to active targets plus a universal shader and we're gonna set the material to it because we want the light to affect our shader the workflow is metallic the surface is transparent because we want transparency in our uh, portal and we are gonna check the two-sided box because we want to see our shader from two sides <coughs> Now we will start working on our shader. So there's multiple ways to create the shader but I'm gonna show you today the easiest one. This way is so good for mobile games, why? Because first it's not performance heavy, second it's easy to do and third it's looking so good. But if you are working on a console game like PC or Playstation or something like this, you can do something better than this and I'm gonna cover this in other tutorial. So we are gonna start doing the shader using a Vernoi node just like this and we are gonna change the UV of this Vernoi using a twirl node just like this. We are gonna assign the output of it in the UV section and then we are gonna need to assign the output of this Vernoi to our emission input in our master node and the alpha also and change the preview to a quad so now it started looking like a portal. We are gonna need to change the offset of this twirl so the portal start circling by time. We are gonna do this using a time node just like this. We are gonna create a time property and we are gonna set its value to 0 0.5 for example and we are gonna multiply this property with our time node just like this. And we are gonna set the, set the output of our multiply to the offset of our twirl, just like this. So it's gonna start circling by time now. It's looking so good. We are gonna create also some properties to, to control the strength of our twirl and the cell density of our Vernoi so we can tweak it the shader after we finish. We are gonna create a flows property, cell density just like this and we are gonna set its value to 6 for example we are gonna make another property we are gonna call it twirl strength just like this and we are gonna set its value for example to 8 this one gonna be assigned, assigned here and this one gonna be assigned here in the cell density of our vernon there's two things missing in this portal. First, the shape of this portal needs to look like a, a circle, not like a quad here. 
and we are gonna do this using a texture 2d for example like this we are gonna call it main texture we are gonna set the texture to our default sparse call in unity we are gonna assign it with a sample texture 2d because it's a texture it needs a sample texture 2d and we are gonna multiply this one with the Vernoy node so it changes the, the shape of our portal multiply just like this multiply this and this and we are gonna assign, assign it to our master node with the emission and the alpha just like this so we are gonna notice that the shape in our main preview changed to a circular one just like this the last thing we need to do is to change the color of our shader and we are gonna do this using a property a color property we are gonna call it color just like this it's enough we are gonna change the mode to HDR we are gonna increase the opacity maximum we are gonna change for example I'm gonna choose an orange color and I'm gonna add the intensity to 2 for example I'm gonna drag it here and multiply it with the multiply of our shader just like this and we are gonna change the transitions here with the emission and the alpha of our master node so as you see sorry for this so as you can see the colors started changing so this is our final results and like i said it's an easy one you see it's gonna be ready just in three minutes now we are gonna go back to our scene we are gonna make trader in our portal and we are gonna tweak it to so it can look good than this we are gonna save the assets and go back to our scene create a plane object and we are gonna drag it here for example we are gonna create a material from our portal shader just like this we are gonna like call this portal material just like this and we are gonna assign it here so it started looking so good we are gonna change the rotation of it by 90 degree in the z-axis so we can fit it here inside of this portal we are just gonna do this so we can fit it exactly there just like this and from the side just like this so now it started looking kind of good we are just gonna tweak some of the values of our shader which 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 are the properties we made we are gonna change uh, the cell density I'm gonna set it for example to 5 because I wanna make it more cir circular and I'm gonna increase the twirl strength just like this 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 I think this is this one is so good I'm just gonna this just like here this is I think this is enough for me and I'm gonna change its color because uh, the orange one does look good with this parcel I'm just gonna change it for example you can change it to wherever color you want in this circle I'm just gonna set it to this value for example now I think it's looking kind of good just like this and uh, I'm gonna increase the intensity of it I'm gonna set it to 3 just like this and here it is you can also come to the global volume to the bloom effects and increase the intensity with the threshold so it starts emitting more light just like this and it's gonna look better in your in your scene if you want to download this portal or the shader you are gonna find this in the description bar for free so this is the end of this video guys i hope that it was helpful for you if you made it till the end i appreciate you so much give this video a thumbs up if you like it smash subscribe and hit the notifications bell because i drop cool videos every week and you don't want to miss them see you in the next one